everybody. Um, this is an April TV, right? Well, I don't know. You can consider it whatever you want, but I just, I felt like I had to make this. I, I feel a little guilty if I didn't, but I found out today that this guy, Casey Calvert from Hawthorne Heights, died. And I never knew him personally. I never went to one of their concerts, but I listened to them a lot, like the past couple years. And I mean, as emo as their music might be, they've helped me through some hard times and I don't know. I always looked up to him because I thought, I don't know, he was such a good role model. I mean, like they really didn't do anything in that band like bad. It was all about the music, all about the fans. And so today, I was online and I saw that it said that he had died. And I was thinking, you know, it was a joke. A sad, cruel, awful joke that somebody had been making up, but then I found out it's not a joke. And he really died. And, like I said, I never knew him. And I never met him personally. I never went to one of their shows. But I've listened to the CDs. I've loved the music. I've loved the people. And to hear that he died, really, I don't know. It hurt me a lot more than I thought it would. I mean, he was only 26. I uh, I guess he was married, so, I mean, what is his wife gonna think? Like, he just, like, died in his sleep. So there was, like, they say there's nothing involved. There's no, you know, rough play going on or anything that he just died, but I didn't think I would get this emotional about it. I tried not to, but, I mean, it's just... I mean, all the bands I've listened to, nothing, I mean, they, there's been lineup changes, this guy's gone to this band, or they've switched lead singers, but I've never, like, had to deal with something like this, so, finding out that he died, really, it, it hurt, it hurts a lot, because he was such a good guy, like, I didn't know him personally, but the music, and... It's just sad for anyone when anyone dies, but he died in his sleep. He was only 26 years old. You know, he had a successful band and everything was going right for him. And he just dies. Like, how unfair is that? And I don't even know why I'm crying right now. Because I don't know. You know, he could be this awful guy, but not from what I've heard. From what I heard, he was like such an awesome person, quirky. I don't know. I'm a fan. And so when enter anything happens in a band, I get affected by it. So when I heard that he passed away, I, I don't know. I went, it's like I went from shock to denial to just immense sadness. And my heart really goes out for his friends, his family, his band, all the fans that, you know, have, have been with them like I have. So, I don't know, excuse my crying and all, but I, I can't, I can't, I don't know, I'm trying to deal with it, but people might think I'm being lame because I'm getting so emotional over this, but I mean, it's just sad. He didn't deserve to die, especially, I mean, I hope to God, I mean, I, I still keep hoping it's not real. And that it's just a joke that they're playing on us, even though I know it's not. But I'm just... I want it to not be real. I want it to just be something... something else. <coughs> so, I don't know. I just, I felt I had to, you know, pay my respect. And send out how, how sorry I am for everyone who's been affected by his death. And... To let people know that, you know, I care. I've always cared about the band. You know, I haven't, you know, listened to them in a while. And I'm sort of sad I haven't, because, I mean, I think it's good music. I really do. But. <coughs> I'm just. I mean, if the people from Hawthorne Heights see this, I just want them to know I'm so sorry for you. I really. I can, my friends, I treasure them so much. And if I were to just lose one of them unexpectedly, I don't know what I, I don't know how to handle it. So, 
I want to say I'm sorry for you. I hope everything works out. And I just, I wish it wasn't true. And I'm so sorry. I wish, I mean, everyone wishes they could have done something. But, I don't know. I just need some time to be sad about this. I think everyone involved, especially those that know him personally and know him well, they're going to need time. So, sorry. I hope everything goes good for everyone involved. You know, Casey, I'm sorry. I hope he's in a better place. I really do, even though I thought things were good. But, <sighs> you know, just let you know how important everyone is in your life and that you shouldn't take anything for granted and you should live every day like you know it's your last so I hope everything works out I hope you know I get some positive comments and I send all my best wishes and best prayers out to Casey and his friends and family so yeah much love forever and always April